all of us, 7.8 billion people in the world did something positive towards contributing to the cure of coronavirus, not medicinally, but mentally. Can you imagine 7.8 billion people contributing at 0.000001%? Boom, knocked the thing right in its head. This is The Fighting Entrepreneur, the podcast dedicated to entrepreneurs looking to change the world. Learn how to start, build, and scale a business in today's highly competitive business environment. Here's your host, The Fighting Entrepreneur, Anik Singhal. What's up, you crazy fighting entrepreneurs? Guess who it is? Your favorite person in the whole wide world, Anik Singhal. Back to you with another episode of The Fighting Entrepreneur from a bit of a different setting. That's right. Welcome to my home. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you can see you're in my home office right now. And um, that's right. Give you guys a quick little update on what's happening at Learn. Today's episode, I want to go over the number one tip that I can give you to mentally survive this coronavirus spread that's going on. And before I even start the episode, listen, we've put together a $30,000 relief fund for our students. If you are an entrepreneur, a small business, a local business, or you are studying entrepreneurship and you've reached an emergency moment where you have no money in the bank account or you only have a couple hundred dollars left and you are worried about the necessities of life like food, medication, water, you know, you know, maybe you need gasoline money to put something in your car. Like there's endless opportunities uh, or endless possibilities of what it considers an emergency. But we want to know, we want you to know we love you. We care for you. You're a part of our family. We always say here at Learn, we bleed blue. Hashtag bleed blue. That means you're part of the family, right? Why blue? Because we're Blue, and that's my favorite color, and it's Learn's favorite color. We want to support you. Go to fund, F-U-N-D dot learn, L-U-R-N dot com. Go right now to fund dot learn dot com, and there's two ways you can participate. Number one, if you need some money, if you need some emergency funding, right, 50 bucks to 500 bucks, fill in the form. It'll take you a few minutes. We'll put you high under consideration. Our first fund is $30,000. We've already, at the time I'm filming this, already raised $21,000 for fund number two. So we're actually at $51,000 right now available. And we'll probably, by the time you're listening to this, be past 60. So number one, if you need some help, go ahead, go to fund.learn.com. If you know anybody that's in dire need, that's a, that really needs a few hundred bucks for groceries or medication, send them to fund.learn.com. Also, number two, if you are financially well off, you're an entrepreneur, you've been blessed, you have enough money, you have good money, you know you're not going to be in the dire, dire need anytime soon, please donate to the fund also. If you go to fund.learn.com, you'll see there's a link there. Click it. You can directly donate to Singal Foundation through that link. It's a nonprofit, 501c3 registered. You'll get a tax deduction for it. Anything. Listen, you donate $20, you donate $20,000. It is up to you. Every little bit counts. Please go and take care of that. Help the rest of our family all over the world here and learn. And not even if you're, if, even if you're not a member of Learn. If you're an entrepreneur, you're a member of Learn. In spirit, we are there with you, entrepreneurs. So make it happen, okay? Fund.learn. Dot com. So I want to start, I want to give you guys the number one tip today. Um, I've been through quite the journey myself over the last few weeks. I'm going to open up a lot in this episode and talk to you about my mental state throughout all of this. Uh, initially, I didn't think I was going to share any of this because being the leader of Learn and, um, you know, I should be nothing but positive and nothing but strong. I'm the fighting entrepreneur. How could I possibly have vulnerabilities? How could I possibly be having bad time? Well, you know what? The heck with all that. I'm human too at the end of the day. And I feel like a lot of people are not talking about what's going through their minds. The fear. It's crazy out there right now. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about my journey. And, and I've made a massive evolution over the last few days. Like it's been a complete turnaround for me. I'm smiling, I'm laughing, and I'm able to be positively contributing to the world again. I want to tell you the number one tip I did to get through that. Okay. Now also... Um, I want to just give you a quick status update on what's happening at Learn. We are in full function, okay? Nothing has stopped at Learn. We've, of course, closed the Learn Center. Um, we're sealed it off. No one's allowed in. Um, and uh, I'm happy that we did that. We did that on Monday last week, so it'll be a week now. And um, everyone's safe so far. From what I know, our entire staff, our team, everyone's safe. Everyone's happy. Everyone's, um, you know, healthy. And we're keeping, you know, we're keeping in touch with them every few days, making sure if we any anything they need. So we're all good and we are all in, in, in function and in operation of service. We are in gratitude to you. As a matter of fact, you've seen, I've still continued to have my 21 day copywriting challenge. My conversion Academy launch has pushed forward over 700 students have now joined the challenge. How powerful is that? We're going to have 700 powerful copywriters walking around. That's my promise to you. If you join the challenge, 
You're going to become a better copywriter than 80% of the world in 21 days or less. Go to lurn.com forward slash conversion. Don't even think about it. Just join. It's an amazing community. We're spending so much time together every day. Talk about a distraction and getting away from all of the, the doom and gloom, right? So status update or just state of the union at Learn. We're good. We're healthy. We are active. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you a funny story. So on Monday, when we decided to close the office down, I came home on Monday night. I, I went upstairs um, on the fourth floor of our house. We have we have an amazing media room, like a 90 inch TV. There's an Xbox connected to it that I bought like three years ago. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to play some Xbox this week. I'm going to get some time to decompress my brain. You know, I got ready for Netflix, researched some shows. You know, with my Xbox, I literally had to dust it off. I'm not even joking. Like there was a layer of dust on it when I went to it and I blew on it. Like dust flew everywhere. And then I had to like take a rag and wet it and wipe it. I'm like, oh, this is where the phrase dust it off comes from or whatever. Like it was funny. Guess how many times I've played the Xbox since I dusted it off? Eh, zero. Guess how many Netflix shows I've watched since I decided all the shows I want to watch? Eh, zero. I have, it's crazy. I am right now locked into the house with my wife, right? I see her less today than I used to before we were locked in a house together. That's probably because her office is right next to mine at the Learn Center. But still, she's upstairs doing her thing. She's working hard with the fund, with everything we release. She is, she is slammed working hard man we should all be very grateful to all the work that she does for the foundation her and i want to thank olga i want to thank anil i want to thank rich i want to thank everybody at learn that's helped put this fun together thank you guys and um and me i'm uh, i'm on the first floor here in my office and just cramming away working i've never worked this hard and there's a big lesson in that i'm going to come back to that lesson at the very end of this episode how am i surviving this guys i i am it's the tortoise and the hare story right? There are some people that have completely taken their foot off the gas pedal and they are using the coronavirus as, a, as an excuse. I get it. Listen, first of all, if anyone in your family is ill, if you are ill, by all means, please, are you kidding me? Take all the time off. Be there. Be present. I always talk about work-life balance, right? It's not a seesaw. It's never 50-50. There's times in your life where personal requires 100% of you. And if you're in that stage, then you're in that stage. But the rest of you who are in your homes, who are healthy, I have a big message for you today. Do not take your foot off the pedal. I am not asking, do not dare profiteer from the coronavirus. I've already made myself damn clear about that. I sent my message out about marketers yesterday. If you haven't seen that, not a couple of days ago, if you haven't seen that yet, go to YouTube, type it in. It says coronavirus message for marketers. Don't you dare violate what I talk about in that. I will call you out publicly. So this is not about profiteering from that. Listen, I'm reading more books right now. Um, I'm filming more content and more videos for our audience. You're going to see Learn's probably, Learn Nation's probably like, what is happening with Onik? We're seeing them everywhere right now. That's right. I got time. Listen, I lost my AV team. I miss my AV team. I miss them so much. Like the ability to have my beautiful studio and everything. And now I'm filming off of a Logitech camera. They did set me up though, really nice. So they got me my mic here. They got me light. I'm, I'm really, really blessed and grateful for that. But I didn't stop and neither are you. And that's exactly what today's about. My number one tip. So learn, we are good. We are serving. We are in gratitude. We are working with you. We are all about you. Please reach out to us. If you want, if you are in a bad place, you need some help, you want someone to talk to, go to the Learn Nation Facebook group. Go to Facebook, type in Learn Nation. We are there. All right. Go to the Silent Seller group. I got over 10,000 people now in that group. Silent Sellers. Type that into Facebook. You'll see we are all talking about copywriting conversion and all of that. All right. Now, let me talk to you about my journey. What happened to me two weeks ago? Maybe more, maybe three weeks ago. Listen, when this thing was blowing up in China, I started to get really worried. I don't know why I never get like this. I am not a worry monger or whatever you call it. I usually don't care. But it really started to impact me. I think partly the reason is also I have a shot immune system. Like I, people know, if you know me, if you listened long enough, you know I have a health issue. So I was like partly worried like, oh my God, if I get this thing, my immune system is useless to me, right? I basically have the immune system of a 70 year old. Okay, number two, you know, I'm looking at my parents who are above 70, like my parents, I'm really worried about, right? Number like, it's almost been a week now. I haven't seen my parents. Like usually we see them like once or twice a week. I haven't seen them. I don't want to see them because God knows what I've picked up or anything. Like I, I actually haven't picked up anything because I haven't left the house. But um, number three, I was worried like I have a like my wife is here. Like I got to protect, right? Like I got to protect everybody in my life. And so about a month ago, three weeks ago or so, I bought some stuff. Like I didn't go out and like, stock up like crazy i didn't buy enough to hurt my neighbors but i bought stuff like i bought you know antibacterial hand whatever sanitizer before it became a thing and before everyone was buying it so i was looking at myself i'm like what's going on with me like at a psychological level i'm not like this i never worry about stuff like this but something was impacting me about it 
And then as time went, my anger grew because I'm seeing on Facebook, like all these people posting complete rubbish and nonsense. They are not doctors. They're not scientists. They don't know anything. They just have an opinion and they're incredibly loud about it. And they're horrible people. <laughs> Anyways, I won't go there, right? Really got me upset. Here's the reason, because you have an opinion. It's you're, you're on like this totem pole opposite. And then, but remember, if you have an opinion, like your opinion is one, their opinion is three. You feel really strongly about yours. Well, they feel really strongly about theirs. And when they project their opinion as strongly as a as that, that passionate level, it impacts you even worse because you're on the opposite sides. And then you project your opinion as strongly. And it just kind of, it's like this endless cycle of anger. And I was I was getting involved in that, right? So so two weeks ago, I find myself getting really angry, worked up, irritable. I'm snapping at people, I'm snapping at my wife, I'm snapping at my friends, I'm snapping at my team members, I'm snapping at the students. Yeah, there's people I kicked out of the group, like in both the groups. Well, and I don't regret that, but I mean, the way I did it was not cool. Like I was finding myself, like, this is not Onik. And I realized, I'm like, I'm really getting impacted by this. Like this thing is mentally messing with my head. You know, I, I might not be worried about coronavirus, but I'm worried about the humans around us. Like, what are we going to do? This is truly like, listen, I, I listened to a story yesterday, like how now in Italy, the army has moved in, quarantine's being enforced. I also heard that in, in Italy, they are now tracking cell phone movement to see whether the citizens of the country are abiding by lock-in. And now they haven't started using that to like penalize people, but they're using it to study trends. And I was like, oh my God, this is happening. Like, this is happening. We are actually in that moment in the world where it's happening. This is like end of world stuff. This is crazy. So here we go, right? You can watch. This is how my head starts to go. So what is my natural progression? What is the natural progression of what maybe you do as a human also when something like this happens? You say, ah, oh, I got to, hey, my best friend, you know, Jimmy, I got to message you. Blah, 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 blah. This negative thing is happening. Oh, uh, Sam, blah, 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 blah. this negative thing is happening. Oh my God, did you hear about this? Oh my God, did you hear about this? And so now... You're home, you have all the time in the world, and what are you doing? You have two choices. You can go down one path or the other, and you're going and building upon the wrong path. You're spreading the negativity, you're spreading the poison, you're spreading the fear, you're spreading the toxic. Now, I'm not saying don't warn people, don't message people, but I'm just trying to say how much time in your day are you contributing to the problem or helping solve the problem? We need to be solving the problem. So I'm going to talk about that today. My number one tip for mental survival is to put yourself in solution mode, solve the problem, add to the positivity, and you'll see a huge shift, a huge shift. Now, what am I talking about? How do I do this? Okay, this last week, so about 10, 12 days ago, I saw the massive trend in my brain and bad things happening. I deleted the Facebook app from my phone. I didn't delete my account. I, I'm still active. Um, I just, I'm not on my desktop a lot. So I was like, this will limit drastically how much engagement I have on Facebook. I deleted the app for like two days. Oh my God, it was an immediate reset. Now I put it back on. Why? Because we got these groups going on right now. The only way I can engage with Learn Nation and uh, Silent Seller Group, like virtually, I want to be tuned in is through the app. I'm probably going to delete the app again, but I did delete it for two days. It really, oh my God, guys, it helped so much. I don't have words to express to you. So maybe you, if you're feeling that anxiety, that fear, like you're having those feelings, just delete the Facebook app for like two days. I mean it. It'll reset you. All right. Okay. Now, the other thing by doing that this week, I made a decision, right? So this is why we released our $30,000 emergency fund. By the way, again, fund.learn.com, L-U-R-N, um, fund.learn.com. And so that took a lot of work, energy, time I had to put towards. We had the launch of our 21-day copywriting challenge with Conversion Academy launching. I had to put time and effort towards that. I, I poured my heart and soul into it. I did webinars. I've been on the Facebook group. I've been trying to talk to people to get into the challenge. We have over 700 in. Now, a lot of people will say, Anik, that's so horrible. You're out there promoting things and selling things and making money off of people. Well, geez, man, business has got to go on. I got to pay my employees. I want to make sure my team is paid and they are and we're good and they're safe and they're grateful because so many people are losing their jobs. I don't want to I don't want my team to have to deal with that. Plus, why should I change anything? My my students still get deserve to be treated the way they've always been. They deserve to get our training, our content, our knowledge, our coaching, our support. They deserve that and we will continue to deliver that. Right? So what happened this week, guys, is I got I'm I'm involved in a lot of positive conversations, solution driven. I'm offering distractions to my students so that they can use that time to learn. I'm putting out more content so that they're not spending that time watching the news, but they're spending that time expanding their minds and their brains and learning. And I'm putting my foot on the on the accelerator because what's going to happen in a few weeks when we innately conquer this coronavirus because we will that as a guarantee when we conquer it 
there will be those who had their foot on the, the accelerator and those who had their foot on the brake. The ones with the accelerator are going to go and take right off. The ones who have been on the brake, it's like the laws of physics. Newton's laws of physics say an object at rest will remain at rest until acted upon by an opposing force. An object in motion will remain in motion until acted upon by an opposing force. So when you are in motion, imagine a car. You're trying to push the car. You're trying to push the car. It's so hard. You can't get it going. You have to call your friends. Okay, hey, come help me. Three, four, five people trying to push the car. Finally get some momentum. And after the wheels start moving, one person alone can keep the car going. You don't need to have four people pushing because momentum is with you. Force is with you. So, so many of you have an opportunity right now to gain momentum while others have their foot on the brake because those who have their foot on the brakes, when this thing goes away, they're going to have to have four people push. They're going to have to gain momentum. Come on, you'll be able to skyrocket. I want you to spend this time learning, reading, watching videos, not about coronavirus, but about positive things. I want you expanding your mind. I want you to spend this time with your family. I want you to grow your relationship with your spouse, with your children something positive. Let me give you some ideas. Now, I'm out there raising money for the fund. I don't assume everyone should do that. I'm not saying you should do it. But can you create a Zoom chat or a Skype chat with your six best friends? Let's say you have some friends you all used to meet Wednesday at 5 p.m. every week for happy hour. Guess what? Wednesday, 5 p.m. You're still going to meet for happy hour over a Skype video chat. Pour yourself a drink. Everyone will sit, look at each other, and you spend an hour or two talking to each other. You know why this is actually helping positively? This is actually a little step like that is helping cure coronavirus is because for that hour or two, those people will not be peddling in the negativity. They will not be getting afraid, getting scared. They will be looking forward for an entire day or two. Oh my God, tomorrow, five o'clock. Yes, positive feelings. Oh my God, tomorrow, five o'clock. It's going to be this. Oh, today, five o'clock. I can't wait until I meet so-and-so. We're going to talk about so-and-so and such and such. You're creating anticipation. You're creating momentum. You're creating positivity, right? So here you are using time to learn, to grow, and then you're doing something positive. Create a Facebook group. Create a LinkedIn group. Create an email list. This is the time to build an audience. Start building an audience of people that you talk to that can, that can start to trust you. People ask me all the time, I'm like, how do I make money online? And I always tell them, you need to build an audience no matter what channel and avenue you use, which is why I love email marketing, right? I love email marketing because it's an easy way to build an audience. It's what I've done. And now today in this crazy time, I'm able to reach literally thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people every day and get my message out. Look how I'm making a video or an audio podcast for you today. Go out and do something. Start a podcast. Start a YouTube channel. You have endless opportunities to put your foot on the accelerator while doing something positive. Give people something positive. Listen, I'm not building filters. I'm sorry. I'm not building face masks, respirators. I'm not a doctor. I can't save lives directly. But you know what I can do? I can do my part is that I can do positive things to bring people positivity. I can bring positive things to distract people from the noise and from the fear and from the poison. And that's what I'm going to ask you to do. Can we at Learn Nation please? All right, hashtag bleed blue. Go out there and get everyone to bleed blue. What does that mean? It's a little phrase we got going on now. Bleed blue. Blue because that's learned color. It's my favorite color. Well, let's bleed blue. Let's bleed our mission. Let's go out and spread positivity. Let's do that. Two pads you can choose. One is to stress and extenuate and push the negative. I'm asking you today to help me on the other path, join towards curing this thing. All right, mentally, physically, do something, anything, the smallest of gestures. If all of us, 7.8 billion people in the world did something positive towards contributing to the cure of coronavirus, not medicinally, but mentally. Can you imagine 7.8 billion people contributing at 0.000001%? Boom, knock the thing right in its head. That's my simplistic message. That's my vision. That's my mission. That's my, my dream. If I may steal a page from from our, our great Martin Luther King. I have a dream. I have a dream that you will contribute 0.000000001% towards carrying the mental stress and fear that's being created around coronavirus. And by no means am I saying this is not real. It is real. People are dying. It is real. But we still got to keep it together if we're going to stop and help stop more people from getting hurt. Keep it together. That's my message for you today, Learn Nation fund.learn.com f-u-n-d.l-u-r-n.com if we can help or if you can help please give to the fund and learn.com if you want to join we've got some amazing courses we've made a ton of our courses free now too just for this period for the next month and then of course listen to more of the podcast if you do want to binge on something go to onicpodcast.com and binge on that please leave us a great review if you don't mind at itunes at youtube make sure you click subscribe and leave a review hit the bell icon hit the thumbs up icon this is onyx and i'll reminding you when life pushes you which it so is right now right? Tends to do that. 
When life pushes you, stand straight, smile. Positivity, smile. And push it the heck back. Love you guys, praying for you. Go out there, kick some butt. Come on, entrepreneurs who never, till you're breathing, you never stop fighting for your dreams. I'm gonna see you on the top, all right? We will conquer this. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Signing off. Thanks for listening to The Fighting Entrepreneur with your host, Onyx Singal.